Hello, I'm Greg Barone with United Home Audio, and I'm going to be showing you the rear of the Super Deck so that you can see how all of the connections are made and the features and benefits associated with all. So let's start at the output from the tape head. Coming from the tape head is a special wire, shielded wire, coming back to a normal XLR output and on the head amp you have inputs at the very top so you can have a short signal path from the tape head output to the uh, UHA head amp input. They're clearly marked left playback head, right playback head and same thing laser engraved into the input panel on the deck, on the uh, outboard head amp from the deck. These panels are solid billet aluminum that fit into a, uh, a well machined into the, the billet aluminum top of the outboard head amp. And in addition, these plates are uh, dampened by a product called uh, FO.Q from Japan that isolates the input plates and the output plates from the rest of the aluminum chassis. So your uh, high-end cables have the best possible dampened and isolated platform to plug into on the Super Deck head amp. Also, you'll see the power supply coming uh, from the outboard power supply pure DC power going into the tape transport that is all that's in here is DC power there's no power source in here there's no voltage regulation there's no nothing just wires coming from all of that the voltage uh, the uh, toroidal power transformer the, the AC to DC conversion devices and all voltage regulation is done in the outboard head amp Reason being, it takes all of that noise and that EMI feed, those EMI fields and any of that and removes it from the tape transport. This is solely a tape transport. Once coming into the outboard head amp, all processing is done on the signal. We do supply uh, an XLR cable from the tape transport to the outboard head amp. This is a special wire that is appropriately gauged for the low output head. In addition to that, we also use the Furtec uh, carbon fiber top of the line XLR connectors. And uh, you will be able to try the deck out with this cable. And also you can use whatever cable you may want between the tape transport and the outboard head amp. However, it comes with a caveat. The caveat is it's a very small signal coming off of this tape head, kind of like a low output moving coil cartridge would be. So you want a cable that has the gauge wire appropriate to a very small signal. In other words, I have tried thick XLRs between the uh, tape transport and the head amp. Not as good a result. In addition, you want that tape path as short as possible. These are actually a little bit long. Uh, on the production models, we will be making these a bit shorter for a, a shorter signal path. However, don't discount this cable. It sounds very good. If you are going to, if you have a particular cable that you like in the rest of your system and, uh, and everything is, is tweaked out for that, you can try a different cable between the tape transport and the head amp, but just bear in mind it should probably be a tone arm cable and not a thick, uh, low gauged XLR cable because you won't get as good a benefit as going with somewhat, somewhat of a tone arm type cable with few conductors in it, high quality conductors but few of them and not a, a lot of crazy geometry etc so anyway you can try whatever you want I would start out with this cable because this cable sounds sounds very good 
It has a very nice balanced effect. It's not too hot, not too bassy, not too this, that. It seems to be a pretty good middle of the road cable. Also, you'll see on the rear of these two, uh, the the T-Transport and the head amp, that there is a speaker binding post. That is actually a ground. So you can star ground everything to any of these points, either the uh, the tape transport, I would probably recommend instead using the uh, star ground on the head amp or either on the outboard power supply. These cabinets are put together in a very special way. The edges, all of the edges that make contact with another piece of aluminum on here are taped off before anything is painted. Reason being that we wanted a complete top, bottom, side, all sides, chassis ground. We wanted a complete chassis ground on the head amp and the outboard power supply in addition to a signal ground. So grounding is always an important issue and on this particular super deck system we have thought about grounding uh, very rigorously. So any of these points can be a great star ground for the super deck. It comes with a ground wire that you can go from the uh, the tape transport to the head amp. Uh, that produces a very nice sound. And uh, in addition to that, we also have the input going to the head amp and this is a pure DC input. There is no AC whatsoever inside this box. And you can see that we also have unbalanced WBT next gen RCA connectors and we use top of the line Furtec uh, XLR connectors both on the back of the head amp, on the input uh, the back of the tape transport, the input on the head amp, and the output, all uh, Furtec. On the head, on the outboard power supply, we also use a Furtec IEC inlet for the best sound, and we also have in this unit output for the tape transport and a separate output for the head amp. All of these cables are supplied with the deck and are of very good quality. I think they will serve you well. Let's talk for a minute about the outboard head amp. The outboard head amp is one thing we've really not talked about. In here you have three power transformers. One that runs the tape transport, one for the right channel, and one for the left channel on the uh, outboard head amp. We have complete separation of church and state. A complete dual mono system from the power supply all the way through to the output on the, uh, on the head amp. Inside this unit, it's, it has a slab of rich light material, which is a dampening material. All of the transformers are bolted to the chassis and bolted through uh, the rich light all the way uh, into big bolts on the bottom so that everything is secure. The banks of AC to DC conversion devices are also located on the rich light as are all of the output connectors etc. So we have a completely dampened uh, uh, power process from the cabinet, the billet aluminum cabinet, all the way through rich light and uh, the mounting of everything onto that for vibration and dampening control. The outboard head amp also has the controls, power controls for the tape transport so that there's no uh, uh, possibility of any of that affecting the signal off of the tape transport. We have uh, on this unit, footers that kind of, they come tip the, the, the head amp and the outboard power supply come with big rubber footers that are very nice. Or when, one can also opt 
for the optional Hi-Fi Stay Gyro Swing footers. Uh, these are extremely nice. They are set for the weight of the head amp and the weight of the outboard power supply. In addition to that, they uh, are we have machined wells into the bottom of the rack system and the bottom of the head amp and the bottom of the outboard power supply so that these just click right into the wells and are positioned appropriately to work properly. You can see how they allow the uh, head amp and the power supply to float vibration free and dampened from the rest of the rack acoustic airborne vibrations are, are uh, absorbed by this very nice system very nice looking as a kind of a uh, copper looking bottom with a nicely engraved hi-fi stage gyro swing footer middle section and a top section as well you can also um, you can also use these with a uh, with a bolt so that you could theoretically bolt them into a unit but they do have a great sound I've seen them used on a number of different components and they uh, they seem to bring more life into everything that you set them up with I've I saw this company at uh, the Munich show a few years ago, always wanted to do business with them, and so consequently when we planned uh, to make the super deck, we also planned to use their footers, very nice footers. They run about $1,250 for a set of four, and you would need two sets uh, for a super deck. These are an optional, uh, you can add them on. When you purchase the Super Deck, you can add them on at any time later because we made it very easy to get the rubber feet off of this. You don't need to open the chassis. You simply turn the unit on its side, unscrew the feet, they come right out, and you're ready to slide in the uh, Hi-Fi Stay footers without any aggravation or hassle. I didn't want the user to have to open the top and try to figure out how to hold the nut inside while they unscrewed, none of that. We just made it so it's very easy. Threaded the uh, aluminum and the footers, the rubber footers screw right in or unscrew right out and bam, off to the races. Now of course you can use any kind of vibration dampening apparatus you want into this. You could use still points, you can do any, use anybody else's uh, uh, vibration dampening footers. Uh, they will probably fit in there no problem. This has a fairly wide base. Um, so anyway, that's the footers.